I believe it. Nowadays, everybody records everything. Yes, sir. <laughs> Okay, you ready? Yep. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the marriage of Delvin and Ladera in holy matrimony. The bonding covenant of marriage was established by God in creation and our Lord Jesus Christ to do in this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at a wedding in Cana of Galilee. It signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and his church and Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife and heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity, and when it is God's will, for the procreation of children and their knowledge and love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union, Ladera and Delvin come now to be joined. If any of you can show just cause why they may not be lawfully married, speak now or forever hold your peace. Good, I got a thumbs up. <laughs> Before God in this congregation, I ask you to affirm your willingness to enter this covenant of marriage and to share all the joys and sorrows of this new relationship, whatever the future may hold. Delvin. Will you have Ladera to be your wife and will you love her faithfully as long as you both shall live? I do. Good. Ladera, will you have Delvin to be your husband and will you love him faithfully as long as you both shall live? I do. Good. I'm going to share with you a few words of scripture written by the Apostle Paul. He wasn't writing about marriage, but there's a lot of good marriage advice in here, so I want you to listen. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if any has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which you were indeed called into the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to the Father through Him. Would you check my coat? It looked like it was blowing. I don't has my car keys. Oh. If it goes over the rail, yeah, you we, know we we got a little we got a little problem. We got a big problem. And what do you? Whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. You see, even though he wasn't writing about marriage, there's a lot of good advice. Because I'll tell you something. If you make the decision each and every day of your life to be uh, kind and patient, if you show forgiveness, and if every morning the first thing you do is to decide that you are going to love one another, because love isn't an emotion, it's an action. It's treating one another in a loving way. If you make that decision, I guarantee you will have a marriage of incredible happiness. Let's have a word of prayer. Lord God, we ask that you bless Delvin and Ladera as they pledge their lives to one another, that their love may continue to grow and be a true reflection of your love for us all. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now what I want you to do is I want you to look into one another's eyes as deeply as you can. And I want you to remember this moment in time. Because you're about to make vows in the sight of God. And after you make those vows, everything changes. No longer will you look at the future as me and mine, you and yours. It will always be us, us and ours. So Delvin, looking as deeply as you can into Ladera's eyes, repeat after me. I, Delvin, take you, Ladera, I delve and take you to there to be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. 
word of God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge myself truly. And thereto I pledge myself truly. With all my heart. With all my heart. Go ahead. And Ladera, I want you to look as deeply as you can into Delvin's eyes and repeat after me. I, Ladera, take you, Delvin. I, Ladera, take you, Delvin. As my wedded husband. As my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better or for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge myself truly. And thereto I pledge myself truly. With all my heart. With all my heart. Very good. Do you have rings? I'm on already. <laughs> oh. Well, take those rings off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, Delvin, would you play, place Ladera's ring on the fourth finger of her left hand and repeat after me? Because when it goes on this time, it's entirely different. <laughs> I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my promise. As a sign of my promise. Good. Yeah, squeeze it in. <laughs> you better not touch that thing. That's a, that's a good, good thing. That ring isn't coming off. <laughs> Here we go. I made it work. Okay. <laughs> and Ladera, would you put Delvin's ring on the fourth finger of his left hand and repeat after me? I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my promise. As a sign of my promise. Very good. Uh, easy one yeah. <laughs> Let's have a word of prayer. Eternal God, whose love is the source of everything that's good. We pray that the knowledge of your love may inspire this union that's now begun. Grant that Ladera and Delvin, who have dedicated themselves to one another in your name, grant that they may live in harmony and true companionship throughout their life together, seeking one another's welfare, bearing one another's burdens, and sharing one another's joys. Give them the resources to live without the fear of poverty and grant them joy in their home. Father, Keep them true to the faith in which this marriage has begun, that they may always walk within the light and love of Christ, strengthened by the Spirit against all temptation. And when mortal life is over, bring them in your mercy to the joy of that life that shall have no ending in the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Since you have pledged yourself to one another in the covenant of marriage and have made your declaration before God in these witnesses, I pronounce you to be husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, what God has joined together, let no one separate as God's own. Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, and patience, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you, and crown all these things with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Amen. Amen. Delvin, wait, oh, 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 oh. You, you're about to jump the gun. Jump. Yeah. Delvin. Yes, sir. Okay. You may now kiss your wife. <laughs> and it is with great pleasure that I introduce for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Delvin and Ladera Wells. Yay! Yay!